federal lawmakers are once again pushing legislation to overhaul the nation's immigrant detention policies. New Jersey's junior Senator Cory Booker, along with two House Democrats, have reintroduced the Dignity for Detained Immigrants Act. It would end mandatory detention for individuals awaiting deportation hearings and ban the use of private for-profit detention centers to house ICE detainees, as well as increase oversight to improve conditions at detention facilities and prevent abuse. The Elizabeth Detention Center is the last facility in New Jersey that still has a contract with ICE to house detainees, but that contract ends in August. Meanwhile, New Jersey's senior senator this week unveiled a new immigration overhaul plan, but he's taking this plan directly to the White House in the hopes of spurring change within the Biden administration. Senior political correspondent David Cruz spoke with Senator Menendez about his criticism of the president's policies and how he wants to change them. Senator, good to see you. Thanks for taking a few minutes with us. Uh, the last time we talked, you referred to the president as the asylum denier in chief. I, I feel like this white paper is, uh, a, as much as anything, an expression of your real frustration with this process, no? Well, good to be with you, David. Look, the, the paper is an attempt to try to get the administration to move in a better, more effective, more humane way, uh, and to preserve our nation's history uh, as a nation in which asylum uh, is the law. We say that we're a nation of laws. Asylum is a law of the United States. So basically, instead of just complaining, I, I developed a action plan, a white paper, which I've shared with the administration. It has four pillars, creating new legal pathways and extending existing pathways to reduce pressure at the southern border, to include increase resources at the border to process asylum seekers and remove people without legal claims to stay in the United States, to expand humanitarian assistance and develop financing to better integrate uh, refugees and migrants in countries across the Americas. There are 20 million people in the Western Hemisphere, in Latin America and the Caribbean, who are displaced, who are seeking uh, asylum, who are refugees. It's a hemispheric challenge. We need to work with the other countries in the hemisphere to be part of meeting that challenge. And lastly, it's to elevate our efforts to counter transnational criminal organizations that are involved in human smuggling and trafficking. Uh, all of these actions can largely be taken place by the administration through executive functions. We talked to several uh, immigrants' rights advocates, and they say that they're really concerned about the tone of the president's rhetoric. When he refers to immigration, he, he kind of defaults to discussions of gangs and, and uh, fentanyl uh, uh, smuggling. Have the Republicans hijacked the narrative here and forced the the president to the right on this issue? Well, look, I think that my uh, Republican colleagues, or at least many of them, want the issue more than they want a solution. Mm. If they want a solution, you know, our plan offers them a solution, including many of the things they want to see, uh, like accelerated asylum processing at the southern border. Uh, but if they want the issue, uh, then, of course, nothing will satisfy them. I, re I regret uh, that the administration, instead of standing up for its core beliefs and where President Biden has always been in his career in the United States Senate, uh, has followed them down that rabbit hole. And the, the biggest problem with all of that is not only the politics of it, it's that we don't achieve success at the southern border of controlling it, of regularizing passage, uh, of making sure that we don't have emergent circumstances at the border. That's that's the biggest, uh, you know, uh, problem with where the president's been at in following Republicans down the view that every enforcement entity is going to be the only way to solve the problem. We saw at the height of all of the Trump initiatives, people still came towards the southern border. We have to stem the tide of why they come in the first place. All right. No easy answers. Senator Bob Menendez, thanks for taking a few minutes. Appreciate it. Good to be with you.